Hi, it's James Jack from Biovia. Uh, I've got another presentation in my series of uh, draw add-in um, videos. Uh, this add-in is uh, kind of a desktop search add-in um, for chemistry. Um, so I've drawn this uh, query molecule on my canvas, um, rather simple one, but it's based on what I know is available in the directory that I'm going to use the search across. So if I go into the file menu and I go into uh, search, then I'm presented with this dialog. Um, it's going to do what I've called a local folder search. So I can choose uh, what folder I want to search in. And I'm going to search in a folder that's on my desktop um, called draw add-ins dev. So just in there. And search options, I can do either a substructure search or an exact match. I'm going to leave it as a substructure search. There was a feature here uh, where you could also search against the ChemSpider web database. That's currently broken because they've dram dramatically changed their API. And, uh, and I think they've started to charge for, uh, for access. So I'm probably going to have to remove that feature, unfortunately. Um, but it, it is... Uh, it's possible to uh, to put in, and you also have the option to search in include uh, subdirectories in your search, which I'm not going to do because everything I know that I want is in that folder. Okay, so queries defined. I've chosen my options now. I just click on search. So what this does is it goes into all sorts of documents. So it looks at mol files, sketch files. Uh, files with the extension SMI, which can contain a uh, smiles notation, uh, CDX files, so ChemDraw files, um, Word documents, both Excel, uh, sorry, Doc and DocX, Excel files, both XLS and XLSX. Same is true for uh, PowerPoint and publisher files. Um, so it's quite a powerful add-in. Um, Once you've got your results, you can obviously look through. If I just reconfigure this UI a little bit so you can see the, uh, the folder name better. So this is found matching structures in this small file. Um, and also it's found uh, something similar in this other small file from a, a previous presentation. Um, in here, again, another small file. This time it's a sketch file, so it's gone into a sketch file and found the chemistry. Um, it's found it in this SD file. It may have more than one entry for that SD file. Okay, so, um, yep, that, because I said it could be carbon, it's, it's found Buckminster Fullerene. Um, it's also found naproxen in this SD file. Um, and again, another one from the SD file. Uh, stereo numeration SDF, it's found some more there. Uh, keep going through. I'm looking for the the doc the document file because I want you to see that it's actually done that. Um, so another SD file, another SD file, um, another one. Oh, there it is. It's gone into this search test docx and pulled out the chemistry. Um, also PDF files, but the PDF files have to be a little bit special. They have to be generated by um, something called report manager which embeds the chemistry properly um, as a, a an object that, that can be double clicked and, and and then launched so it can't be an image it's not doing uh, optical like character recognition recognition for the chemistry it's just um just merely being able to pull out the uh the uh, the, the molecule object from the uh from the, the the document that it's looking at or the file that it's looking at um once i've done this I can actually export the data um, so I can export what I've found and obviously it's indexing where it's found it because it's got the file name along with some other calculated properties and, and, and things but I can actually do an export so let's have a look at that I can go into the export um, and uh, I could call it search results um, and that's going to save that as an SD file dot SDF and save. So it's exported.